we start off with some breaking news. Last week, remember Rahul Gandhi got aggressive and today it's Sonia Gandhi at Trivandrum blaming the BJP for communal riots in the country. This is the first direct attack on the Modi government by UPA chief Sonia Gandhi was hit out of the BJP-led government of the centre saying that there has been a spurt of cases of communal violence ever since the new government has come to power. Now her comment, her comment gathers significance considering the Congress party wants to discuss the matter in the Lok Sabha. Now remember senior leaders Malika Arjun Kharge and Jyoti Raditya Sindhya met the speaker on the issue. And it is something which is of great concern and worry to all of us. During the UPA government, UPA 1 and UPA 2, there were hardly any such incidents. But in a very short spell, we have had nothing less than 600 communal violence incidents in Uttar Pradesh and perhaps as many in Maharashtra. Now, this of course makes us wonder and makes us think why suddenly after the BJP has come to power all these communal incidents and what we believe and what is pretty clear in many instances is that these incidents are deliberately created to divide our society on religious lines. So we must resist and condemn all such attempts, but also through our own efforts and by our own example, we must actively promote the idea of a secular and plural society, a society where we all live in harmony with one another. As the Indian National Congress, Rohini now joining us on the phone line. Rohini, this, this comment is extremely significant considering it's coming from the highest quarters of the Congress party. Considering just before Rahul Gandhi was also, you know, uh, uh, had been criticized for his lackluster approach. Sonia and, Gandhi, Sonia and Rahul both have been criticized uh, from several quarters within the party and now both of them coming out in, you know, sort of vociferous defense of the party and slamming the BJP. Are we looking at a more active role that Sonia and Rahul are hoping to take now? Well, that's what political analysts are saying, that the fact that they have been, there has been sharp criticism towards Sonia and Rahul Gandhi, now this kind of a statement that she's making here in Kerala is very clearly that they're trying to now lash out. What political analysts also have been saying is that it, just by pointing fingers at the ruling party does not make them a strong opposition. What they should right. do is also talk about what happened during the UPA 1 and 2. She's talking that, she's saying very clearly that such kind of communal clashes did not happen, but very clearly people are coming out and not, not just the political analyst, but the also the ruling party also very clearly say that that's not true. By just taking numbers, it's not fair by doing so. But yes, here we're looking at finally uh, Sonia Gandhi voicing her opinion and we're looking at this kind of, where they have been asking, the opposition is asking for a debate in the parliament, right. time and again on this communal clashes. So hopefully we're looking, some active, uh, looking at some active role from both of them. Right, Rohini, just stay with us. Let's just listen in once again to what Sonia Gandhi said, her direct attack at the BJP-led government. Let's listen in. And it is something which is of great concern and worry to all of us. During the UPA government, UPA 1 and UPA 2, there were hardly any such incidents. But in a very short spell, we have had nothing less than 600 communal violence incidents in Uttar Pradesh and perhaps as many in Maharashtra. Now, this of course makes us wonder and makes us think, why suddenly after the BJP has come to power all these communal incidents? And what we believe and what is pretty clear in many instances is that these incidents are deliberately created to divide our society on religious lines. 
So we must resist and condemn all such attempts, but also through our own efforts and by our own example, we must actively promote the idea of a secular and plural society. Rohini, given this and considering there's going to be a discussion on this in Parliament tomorrow and also uh, looking at how Rahul's, you know, sort of his, his behaviour the last time when he stormed into the well of the Parliament, are we expecting some real fireworks tomorrow? Absolutely, that's one of the expectations. Also, just we've also seen how Mr. Malikarjun Karge, along with other senior political leaders, have also spoken to the speaker regarding the same issue on the rising number of riots that are taking place across the country. We are expecting some kind of outcry, and like we've seen, uh, like I've been also saying earlier, that a uh, more outspoken Rahul Gandhi, a more outspoken Sonia Gandhi, itself shows the fact that they are looking at a kind of a debate which would be absolute fireworks on the floor of the parliament tomorrow. Right, Rohini, and let's just uh, let's try and understand how are the the other you know the the other quarters in the Congress that once criticised Rahul and Sonia for their lacklustre approach and their leadership skills. How are they looking at this this sudden shift that we're seeing with you know Rahul Gandhi you know storming into the well of uh, Parliament and Sonia Gandhi her first direct attack on the BJP-led government. Right, we seem to have lost the line with uh, Rohini, but that is Sonia Gandhi's direct attack on uh, the Modi government saying that the spurt of uh, communal incidents and riots in the country has taken place uh, after the BJP government has come to power.